what I call the Instagram big bad way started getting very popular here in South Africa. Oh Lord Jesus! <laughs> Bro, I did so well, no? And then like, I stopped again. So, okay, you know, now we're really back, bro. I figured out how this um, reaction streaming thing work, bro. Like, it's gonna be way easier. So, I'm gonna get the, the videos out for you. Okay, so I saw this video, no? Something about uh, uh, toxic social media or toxic YouTube culture, whatever the fuck. Um, I downloaded the video, so credit to the creator. I don't know your name now, but because I downloaded the video, but. I found this very interesting because why? Surely I'm not in this video, bro. I'm do I'm definitely not toxic, bro. I'm one of the most chilled South African creators. Yeah. You know? So, but we're gonna watch this video. I'm very excited to see it. Also, if you are new to my face and channel, I have a group, CFAM. It's because my family. Uh, we make music, we have an EP. It's called Identity Crisis. Uh, I'll probably put it up on I'm, I'm, I'm put it up on the screen, but I'm not lazy to edit. But yeah, is it? I just wanna sh <laughs> hold on, bro. No, it focus on that thing, man. Can you see? Ah, fuck! I'll just put it up on the screen. Uh, let's watch this video, bro. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, wait. When you spend more time in your mind than you do in reality as a means to escape the harsh reality you face in the real world, your eyes start to see things deep. Hold on, bruh. I need to change something, but it's very soft, man. Make it louder. Yeah, boy, anything of this feeling. We as South Africans are a fascinating branch of the human species. Sell us a dream for long enough and we just might end up buying it. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, illusions, illusions, all a bunch of well-orchestrated illusions. Tonight, we are going to rob a bank. Oh, that's a... Oh, uh, shout out to Melusi Jubane. Julani, is it the L or B? I hope I'm saying your name right, boss. It's not a hit video or nothing. I really just want to see what he's saying. You're bro. not a famous musician. You're not a famous YouTuber. You're not living as a millionaire. And you're not living that dream life. You have to wake up every day tired and fatigued. But still, you have to what go to school. Why is this thing here, man? Can some... Oh, I can move it. You have oh, to go to that job, that manager you despise. Your phone is your escape. Social media is your escape from this cruel reality. Your brain finds joy and adrenaline in seeing someone else living the life you always dreamt. Your boy bought a mansion, baby. Shout out to Ghost, bro. I don't know him. Like I don't, I don't, I know him, but I don't know him. Does that make sense? Like I know who he is, but I've never met him. But I know he's doing his thing, bro. He's like meaning of illusion. An instance an illusion is a distortion of the senses which can reveal how the mind normally organizes and interprets sensory stimulation although illusions distort the human perception of reality they are generally shared by most people like illusions may occur with any of the human senses but visual illusions are the best known and understood illusions the emphasis on visual illusions oh, occurs because soft. vision often dominates the other senses have you recently noticed videos of some extremely smart south african youtubers like ghost luby publishing videos like this for example my I, new car what i what i what did he do i i bought freaking ah! videos like ghost luby publishing videos like i bought a 10 million rand mega mansion at 21 that's cap bro <laughs> that's just cap am i wrong that's cap probably rented it for a day this for example but i get it though that's, it's off. gonna get view look it got views this shit got a million views that's crazy i bought my girlfriend a dream car or a car for my girlfriend he does not state whether he used only youtube earnings to make this purchase because he didn't even need to he painted an illusion that being an african youtuber averaging over 100,000 views means you can afford to buy that car Your i can't lie With the views he's getting, he probably can, bro. I don't like to pocket watch, man. Like, I don't, like, 
If someone else is making money, you know, I feel like that's their business, you know. If he's a drug dealer, if he's selling ass on OnlyFans, it has nothing to do with me. I think people pocket watch too much in our generation. I can't even hear myself. Like, like okay, let's say he, let's say he can let's say he can't afford it now. It's got nothing to do with us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or oh, that's just my like my opinion. You must focus on yourself, bro. Uh, if someone rented him this car, if he has a, a rich family, we don't know. But uh, at the end of the day, this man is right, bro. It's all illusion. Like, like life is an illusion. Sorry, my dog is like, get out. Go. What's he doing? He's gonna come back now. But at the end of the day, bro, just focus on ourselves, Owens. Like, but I get it though, it's all Mind has already that's... been programmed to equate fame or publicity to riches. But that's not even close to the truth. Actually, it's it being, far from the truth. This smart, is for bro. you as the youth to realize we all have to grind and be creative. That's true. Ad revenue sharing on YouTube does not work the way most of you seem to believe. He clearly cannot afford that car from his channel's ad revenue alone. Emphasis on alone. Based on Google matrix for payments, factor in the region, his niche, the age and gender of the audience that is normally watching his content, then you'll start to realize you are seeing a perfectly orchestrated illusion meant to gather as many views as possible. To begin Stop with, advertisers first look at the niche and the main region majority of your viewers are based. Here in Africa, unless you are in the finance and business niche, advertisers will not pay the kind of money they pay for placement on videos from European and American based creators. People who watch those. Guys, that's a fact. People overseas make like four times the amount of money as South African YouTubers make. It's crazy. I remember now, like my highest month, I was averaging, it was in the millions, like for the month, amount of views I got. And I watched the podcast now of these American Owens, where that bro got like the same amount of like monthly viewers, you know? And he made like four times that I made, bro. So what this man is saying is, is, is true. Like, people overseas make way more money from YouTube than, than we do here. Because you must think, no? Let's say you're in America. In America, there's more money. So people are, are going to pay more ads to put on a YouTube video than they were here. Because here, there's less money. If I, if I summarize... videos are most likely to click on an ad than those who watch the vlogs that you guys love to make these days. That's fact. Just take a look And, at sorry, sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, this Graham Stephen Bruno. He make probably way more than like the vloggers because businesses are more inclined to put to pay more money to put ads on like a finance channel, which tend to one as an older demographic, people have more money to actually buy products. So, bro, the man, I'm giving away too much sauce, bro. On YouTube because he's in the business and finance niche. Having an audience from majority of European nations or the United States make you a lot more appealing to the advertisers. Yep. The gap is so huge compared to having a South African based audience or an African based audience in general. Yep. The key reason for this is because the development rate of nations across the world varies and we are still a developing nation. South Africa hasn't developed to a That's point where majority research, of the Shout citizens out. can afford things at a higher price like European nations. Take Switzerland for example, probably the most expensive country to live in. The standard of living in the Swiss country costs nearly two times more than that of the United States. So now imagine if you have a Swiss based audience on YouTube and those people most likely to afford paying for a Netflix subscription after seeing an ad as compared to people That's here in South Africa. Research, bro. Because honestly, I'm a South African and I'm cheap. So huh? who do you think Netflix will pay more for an ad placement? You with your South African viewers oh, or someone not. else with viewers mostly based in Switzerland and Canada? Believe me, YouTubers get paid really good here in South Africa as well. And yes, the bigger you become in terms of average view account, the more you make. But we as a nation haven't reached the level required to be painting this illusion of being YouTube millionaires and YouTube multimillionaires. I saw a video by DJ Spoo naming South African YouTube millionaires as stated on the title you see on your screen. This is blatant lies. 
I believe quality <laughs> content does not require this level of clickbait. And honestly, this is kind of heartbreaking because he just gave a whole lot of misleading information with that title. Most of the youth don't know it's clickbait because we trust DJ Spoo. We have seen what he did with Mofire, so we trust his business advice. So the youth will believe South African YouTubers earn millions in ad revenue, which That's is a destructive bro. illusion. And one that is very... I'm telling you now, bro. I don't think one YouTuber in South Africa earn millions from YouTube. I can tell you that now. Hundreds of thousands, yes. But not millions, bro. ...to us as the youth. Content creation and YouTube growth is a grind. It's a struggle and yes, give it a few more years and YouTubers here in South Africa will also be millionaires. Man, I hope so, bro. Clue, if he continues thinking yeah, outside the ghost, box. Man. He's doing his if thing, he bro. continues thinking outside the box. He's doing his thing, bro. Shout out to Ghost. So I have a question for all of you. Do you believe your favorite Instagram influencer builds a solid long-term income from being an influencer? You see smiles, but behind those cameras, you might find depression, pretense, and a desire to leave the joy they paint on those illusions. Of course, I'm not talking about anyone in particular. Let's talk about the Instagram girls with a big bad way. Yes, that's what I call it. What I call the Instagram big bad way started getting very popular here in South Africa sometime around 2018. By 2019... Oh Lord Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck? Girls with a big ass started trending through the roof. It's still so bad here in South Africa, so much so that the Instagram algorithm makes it nearly impossible to grow from zero followers unless you have a big butt or a very beautiful face. For the first year, the Instagram big butt but revolution really took us by storm. We were literally life, liking though, you know? every picture. Like, let's be honest, we know both of a girl has some liquor, some liquor. That or, or, or it's, it's just a truckload. Yeah, I said it right, a truckload. We know they're gonna get more likes. With ass or oh, a pretty face. Look at the life, poor Mara say for example. She's literally like then... the African version of Kim Kardashian. But without the infamous Ooh. tape, of course. One million followers. Why? How? Hey, Instagram in South Africa and YouTube have one thing in common. Brand deals. Oh, the lucrative brand deals. Now I have to admit, this is where influencers really get to shine. During the big bad revolution, brands were throwing money at every girl with a big ass on Instagram oh. because you and I boys were drooling over their pages with a desire to get rich through Forex and date some of them or <laughs> even bag some of them. I know, I know some of you oh, have those, okay. and those plans. The illusion <laughs> of these girls point, being bro. better or more beautiful than the ones you see every day in your life just because they have thousands of followers was a very huge thing here in South Africa at that time and I believe even in the hey rest guys, of the guys, I'm, gonna, it's I'm gonna keep it honest bro like a lot of you need to just focus on yourself bro I can tell you now a lot of these girls that have these lot of followers they never gonna smash you bro unless you become something if you become something then your chances of smashing these girls are, are higher or at least of them noticing you. But at the end of the day, bro, you should just level up for yourself, Sinze. Like, level up for you. Like, life, bro, I'm very big on self-improvement now. And, and, like, I want, like, at least if you're a guy at least watching this now, now you should level up, bro. That, you, that's the only thing you should focus on, bro. When I used to be ugly, now, got no goodness. Started getting in the gym, get lean. You know what I'm saying? Look nice. Make some money. Bro. Illusion. Successfully painting an illusion seems to be a very lucrative business. For these Instagram influencers, it should facts. be more like fake it till they pay for it. That's facts. Now tell me, how many girls do you come across while scrolling on your feed that have more than 100,000 followers here right now in South Africa? How many of them have brand endorsements on their feed? Yes, it has become a dog eat dog world right now. There are now probably thousands of girls with more than 100k followers and brands can't pay for all of them. Brands go for the biggest influencers like Bomb, Bianca Costa, just to name a few of them off the top of my head. I swear I've had a huge crush on Bianca Costa hey, hey, no for a long time. Bro. I don't know what this is, man. Why has the Instagram algorithm favored no these girls bro. for so I'm, long? There is actually a valid I'm reason. Not really, bro, yet. I'm not really on Instagram like that. Sorry for pausing, bro. I'm, this is like... I used to be like this though, where I would like fantasize these girls and shit, but like, at the end of the day, bro, that don't, that's not going to pay my bills. <laughs> like, I know, it, bro, I just focus on myself. But it's actually bro, funny. The goal for every social media platform is to keep you active on their app for as long as possible.
possible. This is why they have algorithms meant to study patterns in your behavior and why there are rumors of some applications spying on users to steal data and information. Have That's you noticed beautiful. on Instagram if you spend some time watching football content, the next time you reload your feed it starts Only showing you a lot up. more football mm. content. But it shows you the content with a lot of likes because it understands the most viral posts from the topic you have been exploring are more likely to hook your attention and keep you on the platform. Well here is where the Instagram algorithm became a little bit dark here in South Africa. A while ago on Instagram if you spent days watching Christian based stuff or posts by athletes for example, it would keep suggesting posts by Christian based creators or posts by athletes. But the moment you view one post, I mean a single post of a girl with a big butt or a pretty face, it instantly shifts your feed and floods it with girls, girls, and oh, yeah. of course, girls with ass and curves. Expect, From my bro. understanding, the algorithm is programmed to pick up on anyone that views a girl. It knows the nature of a man and then it preys on us. They take advantage of us and do their best to show you the most beautiful girls just because they want you to keep scrolling on yeah, the platform. Yeah, I think we all, we're going to forward about the ones. I think we all know that. Okay, what's this? In the exact same direction as Instagram. In 2023, you are either massive in oh. following or you have a big following on both Instagram and YouTube. That gives you a lot more appeal. If you want those brand deals, ladies, then take advantage of this platform right here because a dedicated audience smells like big bucks to these big brands. These days, you see less influencers hosting big events. The wave was so big in 2018 and 2019 that it would be very hard to come across an influencer not hosting some form of event on a weekend or another weekend. TikTok also started paying creators. Yes, the payment on TikTok was way less than the money YouTube pays vloggers. Now we are hearing platforms like TikTok and Facebook want to stop paying creators because short form content doesn't attract advertisers. Advertisers are still more attracted to long form content I don't think because it viewers does, are bro. dedicated. Like me, no, I've always liked long form more. I get it. TikTok is like the easiest way to get attention. But I think like if you really want to build something long, you must like people must watch you for long hours. Since I, like I don't think TikTok is like a place where you can actually build like a connection between people that you can, you can. There's a few kinds that do, but and oh, focused when watching long form oh, videos on YouTube. TikTok has a secret payment system that not many people actually know about. When you are a big creator, there will come a time when big record labels will use these creators to engineer hype behind songs. So oh, believe me when I say, the top of the TikTok influencers pyramid will be eating really good because such deals with record labels can be very yeah, lucrative. Levels, you Take know. YouTubers like No Life Shack and DJ Ghost Shout for example. Shack. They always show evidence of major record labels contacting them to react oh, yeah. to new songs or new artists in yeah, order to generate paid, hype behind those songs. Heck, look they at the Kardashians paid, for example. That clan it's like, used no, content let's say, let's say, to spearhead. It's like, let's say now I become like the biggest, like let's say this channel now you're watching now becomes very big now. Like I'm telling you like Sony Africa and all these people they're gonna ask me and they're gonna pay me to react to like Nasty sees new song or or not nasty. He, he's big already. But let's say an upcoming person or whatever. Like, well, it's just their beauty and fashion bro. empire. Where would the Kardashians be without their Instagram followers? Well, they literally the earned billions of their hold on Instagram. Now look at the hype they generate every time they post something on Instagram. Kylie well, Jenner I'm, literally I'm, gave life, massive traction boy. to Travis Scott when he released his Astro World album. Because of her posting this album, Travis went from being a platinum selling artist to hitting three times platinum with that album and Crazy. getting a Grammy nomination on top of that. People will not admit it, but we all know Kylie Jenner's social media support is what gave Travis that massive boost. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A massive walking cloud machine. This man can yeah, post man. a picture right now on Dude. Instagram and casually get 3 million likes in, in like, a matter of hours. Oh no, like yes, minutes, being an influencer bro. is very, very lucrative. It's a very lucrative business. But I'm yes. here to bring you the truth. You have to be willing to put in the time, produce a standard in your content that sets you apart from the rest. Hey, that's a good video, man. Um, you said it perfectly. Like, you, like I was, this, is a, this is the new job bro. everyone wants to do. And anybody can do it. You might just work hard because i made no money for for like almost four years bro no money and um the money isn't like consistent because obviously your views aren't going to be the same every month so you must be able to withstand all of that it's all mental and you must be creative and you must like you must always give the people content otherwise you're gonna fall off and shit and it's just you know what i'm saying it's a it's definitely a job but it can also be fun i i prefer this over like working for somebody else just be prepared to work hard and shout out to all the, the YouTubers and people doing their thing, bro. And my last message is just focus on yourself, bro. Like, 
you know, you can get to the same place these people are even further, even further than me. Um, it just takes hard work and believe in yourself. And I would say just focus on yourself, bro. Don't get too caught. You can support people. You can support me. But don't get too caught up in my life and my business. Like still know there's a difference between social media and real life. And you must know that your life is your life. And that's the real and that's the most important thing you should focus on. Stream our EP, Identity Crisis. Thank you, bye. <laughs>